Right, we're asked to add or subtract these decimal numbers here. Now, in order for the numbers to be in the right place value, okay, the best way to do this is to make sure that the decimal points are all in a column. All right, so I'm writing all mine in, an, in a column like this. Now, I'm gonna have a decimal point there, but 19 has no decimal point. Now, if it's a whole number, the decimal point goes at the end, so I'm gonna do that like that. And I'm gonna fill up any gaps with zero so I don't get confused. So if I add those up, I get zero, add three, add zero gives me three. Zero, add eight, add nine gives me 17. So I write the seven there and I carry the one. Don't forget to put the decimal point underneath in the same column. One, add nine, add four, add six is 20. So the zero goes there, the two goes there. Two, add one, nothing there, so that's fine. 30.73 would be the answer to that one. Now then, moving on to the next one, I've got a, a takeaway here. So again, because of place value, I'm gonna have the decimal points all in a column. So we've got 29.4, takeaway 7.2. All right, nice and easy, four takeaway two is two. Decimal point goes in there. Nine takeaway seven is two, and two takeaway, oh, there's nothing there, so two takeaway zero is also two, and we've got 22.2. .2. Little bit tougher over here, because we've got one decimal place, two decimal places. So, what we need to do is, once again, get to ensure that the right place values are in the right place, essentially. Um, we need to get these in a column. Now, We've got nothing there, so once again, I'm gonna fill up with a zero. Now, zero take away four, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna to have to do some borrowing. So I take a 10 from there, and that becomes 10 there. All right, 10 take away four is six. Five take away eight, oh dear, I'm gonna to have to do some more borrowing again. So that becomes three, that becomes 15. 15 take away eight is seven. Don't forget the decimal point. Three take away three is zero. And there's our answer, 0 0.76. All right, key to this, get the decimal points in a column and then everything's in the right place. Okay, Marie, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x... 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on. Well done. <laughs>